Hello, this is uh, Gary Witt, and I'm here with David Jarrett, who is uh, is starting off, uh, is trying to, I guess you can be the commander of the new chapter, or right starting now, off the chapter. Right now, that's the way it goes. Uh, the, the Veterans of Foreign Wars. We're trying to get a chapter started here in Lynchburg, and uh, David, I'll get you to tell us a little bit about what we got so far, and uh, and how people can become a, a charter member. All righty. Well, the Veterans of Foreign Wars used to be in Lynchburg, and they folded in 2014, I believe. And when I moved here, I kind of found out there wasn't any place for me to go to meetings. So I talked to the uh, state commander, and he said, well, why don't you start a new post in Lynchburg? And I took that as a challenge, and I said, okay. So for the last 11 months or so, we've been working at this to get those 35 members to become charter members of a new VFW in Lynchburg. There are three requirements you got to meet to be a member of the Veterans Forum Wars. First, you've got to have an honorable discharge. Second, you have to have been in conflict somewhere or served 30 or 60 days uh, non-continuous in Korea. Uh, and the third thing being, you must be a United States citizen. All easy, all easy. If you've been shot at and missed, we want you. If you've been shot up and hit, <laughs> we want you too. Yeah, we want the Purple Heart, want you then. And and we're there. We made our 35. I came to uh, Monument Terrace today with 33 in the books, and I just picked got up, me. got up another one, and uh, we've got members from everywhere. And let me tell you, we're not trying to take anything away from any other organization. We want to be another voice in the choir. Numbers count. Uh, you look at the NRA, six million members, they get whatever they want from Congress. Uh, the American Legion, one point, well, no, they're a little over two million. The uh, VFW is 1.2 million. Those numbers really count. And when we act together as organizations, that would be the Purple Heart, the BVA, which you know, I'm a member of also, the American Legion, which I'm a member of, those numbers matter. When they take your voice to Congress and People think they get their GI Bill for free. People think they get their VA benefits for free. Somebody had to lobby for those. And that's these organizations that are here today. So thank you. Come on out. My name is David Jarrett. Yeah, but don't forget to tell them. Our chapter is going to be called the Desmond T. Dulles. Exactly. We have gotten permission yeah. from the Desmond Doss Foundation, and we will be the only post in the United States that will have the name Desmond T. Doss Memorial Post. That's great. You know, and uh, Desmond Doss Jr. is a member of our Purple Heart chapter, and he's, he wanted to be a member even though he doesn't live in the state. He wanted to be a member. And so he's all this is part of Lynchburg because if you saw the movie Hacksaw Ridge, you know about Desmond T. Doss. And he was a life member of the Veterans of Foreign Wars as well. Yeah. So that's something to consider as well. You're belonging to a post that Desmond Doss was a member of that same organization, and this post will carry his name. And it's a tie to the community that is so relevant today. We need we need some heroes in town. And well, we got some heroes. We, we everybody got some comes heroes. out here at Monument Terrace on Fridays. We just uh, we have a great bunch of veterans in this order in the, in the city itself. In the city itself. And everybody just participates, and uh, we we love the veterans, and we want to get the word out. And this is another way. Come join us. And I'm, I'm gonna be a member, so come join us and uh, be a part of the Desmond T. Doss Veterans of Foreign War chapter. And as we meet the first Tuesday of every month at the Marine Corps League. 1908 04th Avenue. Come on down, or you can call me. My number is 434 363 1466. Look forward to hearing from you. All right, thank you, David.